Alright, hi, I'm Connor Mullen, and this is my ethical video uh, for the flannel. Um, the first question is, what does it mean to be an ethical leader in your view? I think an ethical leader is someone who always does the right thing, uh, even when someone else isn't looking. Because um, if you don't do the right thing when people aren't looking, I feel like you're, um, you're not really being a leader because you're taking the easy way out, you're doing the wrong thing. And um, do it, just doing the right thing when people are looking doesn't make you a leader because then you're really just doing it because you know you can't get away with doing the wrong thing. Um, that's really how I try to pride myself when I'm a leader. Um, you know, lead by example as an ethical leader. Be ethical. You can't be unethical as a leader. And then if you promote the unethical values to your employees, you're not doing them any service. Um, but also if you are unethical and then when someone else acts unethical, you're like, oh, you can't be doing that. Well, then you're not really a leader because leaders are absolutely by example. And if your followers are doing something that you're doing and you're not practicing what you preach, um, that's wrong. The uh, second question is describe a time where you have been a leader. Um, yeah, so my uh, high school hockey team, um, I was lucky enough to be the captain of. Um, I really enjoyed it i enjoyed the added pressure kind of of not having to be my team so to speak so, you know there's assistant captains and stuff but knowing that i was someone that was going to be uh, a voice uh in the locker room on the ice and off the ice um i really just tried to lead by example you know not celebrating after the whistle not you know we're up eight one don't celebrate don't take cheap shots don't be saying the most awful thing that comes to your mind as a chirp just because, you know, the ref didn't hear it. Um, and always, you know, respect the game, respect your opponent, respect the coaches, respect the officials. Um, you know, I, I would say that stuff, but I also try to just, you know, emulate that by just showing it on the ice and leading by example. And then if someone wasn't following it, you know, maybe I yelled on the bench and they cut the shit. Uh, the next question is explain the kind of relationship, uh, sorry, leadership style. I envision for myself, I, I think transformational leader. Um, I really always have been, now that I have an idea of what a transformational leadership is. I've always been one that kind of isn't up in the front, you know, bossing people around, telling them what to do. Uh, I kind of just try to use my actions, sometimes on words if I need to, but mainly my actions to try and just lead by example. As an older sibling, I try to lead by example. You know, sometimes, you know, everyone makes mistakes, but. I try to really make sure my brothers see me making the good choices, even the ones I don't want to make, but because it, it's the right thing to do. Um, not staying up at all hours of the night, not back talking to my parents, not, I don't know, sneaking out, which was never an interest of mine, but you know, just doing the right thing even when no one's watching or when people are watching. I think it's important to use your actions uh, as a way to lead yourself and others. Um, an example of what you have learned from the course that may help you better become an ethical leader uh yeah for sure um i think that i realized working with other people the importance of that as a leader i kind of viewed leadership going into this class as just the leader was like the boss in a way um what they said goes you're expected to follow what they say um and i've learned that's not necessarily true now um i think you have to really build people up let them know when they mess up, correct it, see how you can work forward with them. And another thing I learned is also just because you don't like someone doesn't mean they're bad. Um, I think that as a leader, it's, there are people that you're going to work with that you don't like. But as a leader, it's not your job to let that influence how you treat them. I mean, granted, if they're being completely wrong, that's different. But if you just don't like someone, uh, I think as a leader, it's your job to kind of look past that and be professional with them. Um, what is a major pitfall or hurdle that I think I could encounter? Um, oh, I want to go into politics. And I think that um, in that world, it, it might be easy for me personally to uh, succumb to playing politics instead of really remembering why I like politics, which is it's, it's, it's if, if it's done properly in the United States, you can really help people by passing legislation and stuff. And that's what I want to do. But I always want to have a job where I can help people. Um, but I think I could get caught up playing politics and, um, you know, put party over why I went there or put not getting challenged in a primary by supporting something I really don't support just that way. 
it's easy for me. And I think doing the easy thing just for the sake of being the easy thing um, doesn't show leadership. I think leaders should see the hard thing um, and do it. If it's if it's what need to be, don't necessarily go out of your way and do something hard just because it's hard. But if doing the hard thing because it's right is better than doing the easy thing because it's is there better than doing the wrong thing because it's easy. Um, and the three concepts I found in the book, um, I tried to look go all over the place. Um, so I'll start at the back of the book. I went with chapter nine. There was a section on emotional intelligence that I thought could really help me because I really am not good at factoring in other people's emotions. Kind of think of my emotions and I'm like, well, if I'm not upset about this or I'm not mad or I'm happy with this, why can't, why can't you be? So I think that's something I need to work on. Um, happy to work on it. But I think that's definitely an area when I read the book that I was like, oh, wow, I, I could use to better myself in this. Um, the next thing I had was the uh, four-way method. Um, that covers being truthful, uh, the consequences, fairness, and character. When it comes to the truth, I think you should always be truthful. I think the truth should always be told no matter how bad what you did is or how much it's going to hurt someone because the truth is just always best, how I was raised, what I believe. Uh, consequences, I think it's important that you let people know the consequences for if they do something wrong, but also you still in, you enforce the consequences unbiasedly, not, oh, I like this guy better. No, you have to, everyone gets the same consequences. The consequences should be laid out for everyone. Um, fairness. Um, I like, I think I could be more fair to people. I think I uh, assume that since we're all in the same boat and we're all at the same college, I assume we all have the same life experiences. And... Um, that can't be true. That's not true. Uh, people have their own stuff going on, and I need to be vigilant of that. Uh, character. I think character is something you can always work on. You can always work on bettering your character as a person, and I think everyone should, whether they want to be a leader, a follower, or whatever. You should always be working to better your character. And then lastly, um, I think that when it comes to the monsters, um, if I were to be a bad person i guess i could really see myself falling into a couple of them um fear uh for if i were to go into politics like you shouldn't you can easily use fear to get people to vote a certain way but you should not um also battleground mentality me versus everyone it's them versus me i could really see myself slipping into that state of mind and i think i that it's best that i don't and i push forward and then um I think the last one that I saw, let me just look in the book real quick. Yeah, is I could see myself just letting insecurity take over. I think everyone's insecure and that you gotta acknowledge that, own that and work work towards it. Um, overall in this class, I really learned a lot um, through the teaching style that you have. I really, it really worked well for me. The fact that you really do just sit there like a student with us and facilitate discussions. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great break.